Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this is a queen walk funneling guide, in depth uh, talk on how to funnel your queen in the correct direction. Sometimes she might go left when you want her to go right, or vice versa. That's a common issue. This video is going to clear all of that up. We have some replays to take a look at, as well as just drawing some stuff out in the whiteboard here. So, uh, going to be a very in depth video. This will apply to town hall. 9, 10, 11, every town hall level that you're doing a queen walk, it will apply. So um, probably useful for almost any player who's in the war scene. Let's get started though. We're going to start with a few example part of uh, like parts of bases. Then we'll get to replays a little bit later in the video once we can extrapolate some of these concepts. So um, the most important thing to remember as we get into this first little section of a base is that you want to find where the point of no return is where you know your queen's going to commit to one side. So let's take it a step back. Let's say you want to start your queen right here by taking out this archer tower and you want her to walk this direction. Pretty simple. It's often easiest to start your queen on the corner of a base. You can't always do that, but oftentimes that's going to be your best bet to start her on a corner. It makes the funneling a lot easier. So um, basically you're going to start your queen right like um, here. And if you look at the second layer of buildings, that's what's also going to dictate your success for the most part. The second layer buildings, not the first layer, but the second layer. And that's what you have to watch out for. Now, right away, you can uh, identify that this building is reachable from where you drop her right here. As a result, there's no risk that in order to target this gold storage, she's going to go around this way. She can step up and target it from the way you want her to go like that. So that makes it so you can drop her higher up because that gold mine is no longer an issue. So you can drop her pretty much up here and all you have to do is basically funnel this building right here because this is what risks pulling her just a little bit too far. But when you have these two buildings touching, meaning the gold storage can be targeted from the right side of the, of the corner here on this side of the corner, that means that your queen is not going to be pulled by it to the other side of the corner, making her walk to the left and not to the right. So if you wanted to drop your queen in this situation, you drop her right here, let her take out this building, then step up for probably this building, then maybe this, then maybe that, then maybe the gold storage, and then from there, she's standing right here, what's her next target going to be? As long as you have this taken out, she has nowhere to go but to this wizard tower or maybe to a building if there's one next to the mortar here um, or possibly even to the expo all the way down here. That's even a possibility as well. So you got to think once the buildings around her get cleared out, which direction is she going to go? And once she commits, if the buildings that were initially here are gone, that's the point of no return. It's very unlikely she's going to come all the way back as long as all the local buildings are gone. So um, that's more of a simple concept when you have the uh, luxury of this building being touching right here. Let's take a look at a very similar situation over here, which <clears throat> is just as common where the building is just one tile back because it makes it harder. Um, if you also want to drop your queen, take out this cannon, walk in this direction, you have to do it significantly differently because of where that second layer building is located. So. The reason that this is different is because now, as I kind of hinted at earlier, the queen, if you drop her around here, has to walk over here to target the gold storage. The reason the gold storage is the building that we're focusing on is because it's kind of close, it's what's in that area um, that's closest to your queen. And the difference is it can be targeted from this side of the wall just fine if she's on this side of the corner, but on the right side of the corner over here, it, it can't be reached by the queen. So it's nearby, but it only can be reached by her going the wrong way, essentially. So what um, the attacker would have to do is funnel on funnel this building and this building and drop her more in this area. He can't drop her as high up because that would risk her aggroing onto this gold storage. What the attacker would have to do, assuming the gold storage can't be funneled, which let's assume it can't, if it can, much easier than treat it like the last uh, little base up there. But if it can't, you have to drop her farther in the direction you want her to go so the gold storage never crosses her mind. So she takes out this, this, these three first, 
steps up for this next layer. And then if you funnel these two buildings over here, the gold storage, because she can't reach it from right here, you have to hope that she doesn't go all the way around to target it, that the next closest building, if you do the pathing right, would be, let's say, this gold or this elixir pump right here. And that'll draw her far enough that she's beyond the point of no return and she continues off this direction. So that's two common examples you have to watch out for, but you're not always funneling her on the corner. Let's say you're dropping her right here to take out these two point defense and you want her to walk this direction over here. How would we do that? So first you have to take a look at, you have to think, where am I gonna drop her? And if you've committed to wanting to take out these two point defense, if that's important, you know you have to drop her um, at least far enough this direction that she can take out the archer tower. That's one thing to think about. But you don't wanna to be too extreme. You wanna look for a place you can drop her with an archer tower and the cannon, your two goals here will get taken out, but she will go the right direction. If you drop her too low here, the archer tower, um, she can't reach from this little inlet right here. She, You risk her going back around for the archer tower than going over to this um, army camp, for example. So the best place to drop her here would be right about on this gold mine funneling on the army camp. The idea would be she takes out the gold mine, probably the builder's hut, um, probably at that point steps up for the cannon, then the archer tower, then this gold mine. At this point, she has a decision to make. She's probably standing right about here for that gold mine. Do I target the cannon over here or one of these buildings, or do I continue this direction? And if the funneling, if it's good, if the queen's standing about where I predict, she'll target one of these three buildings and go in this direction. So. Um, the big thing is looking at the point of no return, when's that going to be, and what's going to be the closest building. Is it going to be in the direction I want her to go or the direction I don't want her to go? Count out the buildings if you have to. Um, kind of predict her pathing in your head. And uh, we'll look at some examples to kind of make this more clear. Let's switch gears and take a look at some more specific bases here. Okay, so here is specific base number one, a Town Hall 9 base. And in this case, the attacker decides, hey, I wanna do a queen walk, starting taking out this archer tower, heading this direction to get the expo and come around, deal with the CC, take all that stuff out. And um, if you guys want a video on where to decide where to do a queen walk, that's a whole separate issue. But let's say we already decided what we wanna do. This is just about getting the funneling done to make that happen. So uh, what the attacker does, realizing he wants to start on the archer tower and come down south around the left side of the base, is doesn't drop her too far down to the point where she has to come back for the archer tower then possibly go around, drops her just far enough that she can reach the archer tower without having to backtrack and possibly go the wrong way around the base. So drops her right in this little gap here and the building counting is great here. So counts the buildings. These two obviously gonna be the first to go down, these two right here, then probably the gold storage, then the mortar and drops her far enough this direction that instead of targeting this elixir storage, uh, she targets the archer tower then because he funnels these two buildings, the gold storage is w in these two are way too far away. When she's right here, she has to come down for that elixir storage finally. So good funneling, good counting on the buildings, makes it a little bit easier with that compartment sticking out. Let's take a look at the replay. So starting off with the queen, like I said, right in that little crevice right there between the two buildings. And the idea is to get her to target that archer tower. And once that archer tower is down, that's the point of no return because the building that pulls her is going to be the storage or maybe even that wizard tower. Let's take a look. But not any building up to the top right there. Yeah, it's the wizard tower because he uses the wizard to funnel those other two buildings, making it so the queen um, was going to take the point of no return going down to the left there on the wizard tower, then to the expo. And it's over. Nothing to draw her up there. Not going to show the whole replay just for the integrity of these bases for King Jeffrey. Um, I, I believe this was a fresh hit, by the way, so um, most of these I'm going to show are going to be fresh hits. But regardless, I won't show the whole attack. You guys get the idea. Let's move on to the next base here. So here's a little bit of a trickier example. This is a Town Hall 11 base, and just to give a little bit of background, 
The plan was to just do a huge queen walk all around the base here, pick up percentage and funnel for a town hall dive to get the two star going right at that inferno tower right there. So it was important that the queen get a lot of this taken out, but we couldn't start her all the way back here because then this air defense would take out the healers as they cut across. So we knew we needed to start her somewhere in this uh, range right here. Now, it looks like a tough funnel, and it's definitely one that's difficult to predict. So let's get right into the details of this, because um, it took a solid 15 minutes on voice chat to probably just get the queen walk planned out of this attack. We were really picking apart this space in the last CWL matchup. So basically, the idea was we knew we needed to funnel the second layer, because be the queen can reach it, which means it comes into play when affecting the queen's AI and affecting her pathing. So they're gonna, it's gonna be a building that target that she targets. One of the issues with just dropping her right here and funneling like these three gold mines is that she will probably initially go this way, but as soon as she steps up, she'll probably backtrack on the second layer, going from archer tower to cannon to storage to hut to archer tower again. That's often an issue is what we call going one way on the first layer, then backtracking once she gets up to the second layer. You don't want that to happen. You want her to get up and start targeting that second layer right away, then kind of alternating between these as she heads in one direction. That's a much uh, more consistent strategy. So that all being said, the idea was to take out this mortar, haste a few loons into here, get the drop on the builder's hut as well because of the splash damage from the balloons. So take out those two defenses. That would create a second layer funnel, also funnel on this uh, gold mine here, then drop the queen like right here, let her step up, take out these, step up, take out these, and then from there, because we funneled both the first layer and the second layer, she'd have nowhere to go but around the base, and it worked out pretty well. Um, one small hiccup I'll talk about, but for the most part, um, it was perfect and she went the right way. So probably one of the more complex queen walk funnels you'll deal with, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to get the queen to go the right way. So here's the replay. Tornado toplings here, and uh, he's gonna drop down the, I think two wizards, or actually we have this beginning stuff. We have a few bowlers uh, for percentage, nice little bowler bounces, pick up some uh, good percentage there, and a minion. But the main thing is he's gonna drop two loons right on that mortar, and that's important to funnel his other loons into the archer tower. For these 10v11 attacks, you can be a little bit more lavish with the funnels. You can spend more troop space because um, you don't have to take out the entire base and you don't have to worry about time as much. So sends in those loons. Look how he got the builder's hut and the archer tower. That was important because that's two buildings making up five tiles plus a gap makes it six tiles between that gold storage of empty space in that second layer. That's very important for the funnel. Now I mentioned one hiccup. I think he dropped his queen too far downwards to the point where she's targeting that barracks before she targets the elixir storage, which risks what I talked about earlier, which is taking out the first layer in one direction, then coming back and backtracking on the second layer and having the queen go the wrong way. She does backtrack a tiny bit, um, but the, the funnel was good enough and there's enough of space that her next target is going to be that, um, that barracks. I'll let this play for a little bit longer because I want to make one more point, which is if the base, especially for 10v11 attacks, is, has this five tile compartment with so much, so much space between the wall and the defenses, you don't have to worry about the queen shooting the wall as much. Um, oftentimes people are concerned if there's a few buildings that the queen can't quite reach, she's going to shoot the wall. This is not the case because in this one, there's nothing, those expos are too far away. She's going to move on to the next defense on the outside of the base. Now, one thing that happens that's kind of weird right here is she will shoot the wall in just a moment. She did a good job not shooting it on all those buildings despite them being so spread out there because of that big gap. But right here, I guess that mortar was just too far away. The cannon, I think, is a little bit closer. And because... Uh, who knows why, she's gonna target that cannon you see right there instead of the mortar. So kind of a weird AI thing there, but the important thing was the funnel. That was an awesome funnel. Nice job to TTL. Let's take a look at one more replay before we wrap this up. So for this next one, I'm not even gonna show the plan because I think it doesn't need it really. It's pretty self-explanatory. The queen goes the wrong way. The baby dragon was to funnel the queen to the left there 
but she's dropped just a tad bit too far to the right here, and it's going to cost, um, I guess, her in this point, this is Dirty Dance and Attacking, um, it's going to cost her with the Queen Walk because those DE drills are going to pull the Queen beyond hope, and she's going to go the wrong direction, unfortunately. The Lava Hound provided a little bit of hope, but for some reason there was a wizard on that dark elixir storage causing the queen to go to the right side because there's nothing to pull her in now. The funnel was kind of created on both sides, and because she was, the queen uh, was dropped a little bit to the right of that corner, it causes her to go to the right side. So pay attention to those corners going back to the very beginning of the video. We didn't see a whole lot of those types of funnels at the beginning of the video in the replays because I wanted to mix it up. I think the beginning part was pretty simple in terms of funneling on the corner. If buildings are reachable versus one tile setback, you have to be more careful. Stuff like that I think pretty self-explanatory. Hopefully these replays shed some light on some other um, things that can occur. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll take a look at those. Let me know if you like this video. Let me know if you want a video on deciding where to start a queen walk and if it's worth it, stuff like that. I'm definitely willing to make a video uh, for that as well. So thank you guys for watching. Good war to King Jeffrey. I don't have a recap video, but it was a good war, a win for us. 2-0 this season in CWL Premier Season 3, so we're looking good. And uh, appreciate all the support from the stream. Had a great time. Still working on the interface and all that stuff. Thank you guys for watching this video, though. And I'll see you guys later. Bisectatron out.